And the freezing temperatures can mean a few extra steps in the morning, like warming up the car or even dealing with frozen car doors. Yeah, and we've got you covered tonight, thankfully. KSNT's Kelly Peltier is live in Shawnee County with some ways you can deal with that situation safely. Kelly? Yeah, I think a lot of people who have to park outside woke up this morning with their cars looking a little something like this one behind me with ice and snow all over it. But luckily, there are a few quick and easy ways to help fix it. I talked to a local mechanic today and he says when you're driving the snow and ice on your car starts to melt because of the heat inside your car. Once that starts to happen, the water runs down the inside of your door seals and freezes. He says a lot of people think hot water will help melt the ice on your car, but actually the hot temperature against a cold window or handle can crack it. Instead, he suggests two other things to try and melt the ice in a pinch. Best way to get rid of it is to use cold water or washer fluid. So the washer fluid has the alcohol in it, so that helps break it down and then not refreeze. Yeah, and he says if you don't have any cold water or any washer fluid on hand, you can use a blanket or a cover like this one to put on the front of your car the night before. He also suggests that you always put up your windshield wipers if you can. Live in Topeka, Kelly Peltier, KSNT News. All right, Kelly, thank you. Remember, you can always get a heads up when that freezing weather is coming our way. Just download the KSNT News and mobile apps, and you can get those straight on your phone.